guys welcome back to my channel hope you are all well so for today's video I wanted to do a quick little try on and review about the new um, well new for me a new um, Smashbox healthy glow all-in-one tinted moisturizer so we're gonna go ahead and do an application on this um, together on camera and then I will let you guys know some of my thoughts and we'll speak about the product description uh, description and the product claims that are listed on Sephora and we'll see if it sticks to those claims. So if that is something you are interested in then please go ahead and keep watching. Okay so I'm going to just go off and state that um, I have already tried this product once. I didn't want to do first impression because I feel like all my like looking back at my channels looking back at it today I realized that like Every time I test out like face products or something, it's always a first impression, which I feel like is nice. But I feel like I would like to do a first impression on products that like claim to hold on all day. And tinted moisturizers generally are like lightweight. So I feel like it's kind of unfair to put this to like a 10 hour test. Not that it probably wouldn't stay on. I just feel like I'd rather show you guys what it looks like at the end of the day and just like try it on and show you guys um, the product if tinted moisturizer is something you're interested in. I know with the upcoming summer months, um, people are more interested and lean towards using tinted moisturizers, BB creams or CZ creams and stuff like that. And I feel like that is really in right now, being part of the like the clean girl aesthetic that we have. So I, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of tinted moisturizers. I just feel like sometimes they're not doing anything and I rather just like not have it on to be honest but I have a few tinted moisturizers that I like I feel like some of them essentially just don't do anything and I feel like sometimes I prefer to just use foundation if I want coverage and coming from someone who like has so many foundations I feel like I'm kind of unfair when I put on tinted moisturizers because I just look at it and I'm like well it didn't do anything but like I said, I have a few favorites and I feel like it's something very practical for every day. There's no need to be wearing full coverage foundation every day in case, unless that's what you're into, like I um, am sometimes. So yeah, I just want to put that out there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just prep the skin and while we do that, I will talk about the product description with you guys. So again, this is called the Smashbox uh, Halo Healthy Glow Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 25 with Hyaluronic Acid. Um, this is retailing, sorry, this retails for um, $49 on Sephora Canada's website and based off the product description on the Sephora website, it says it is an all-in-one SPF primer infused tinted moisturizer with lightweight, natural looking, dewy coverage that hydrates skin for up to 24 hours. The coverage on this is light, um, finish is natural, and the skin types it is recommended for is basically all normal dry combination oily. I thought it'd be cool to tell you guys the like stars this gets so this has a four um out of five stars on sephora's website so i think that's very good and i got the shade light and one thing i really like about this product is that it has the expiration date like right on the back um instead of the typical like um shelf life pictures that products have so yeah i really like that about this so we're gonna go ahead and prep the skin i have already um put on my moisturizer, my sunscreen, my under eye cream, and we're just gonna go ahead and just start priming. So I am using the e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on, and we're gonna go ahead and blend this out. Now, um, I just wanna state that like in the past, I know when I tested another similar product i used a sponge so i did try this already um like i said i wanted to make sure the color was right and like what kind of application i like and i've come to the conclusion that this product works best with a brush or your fingers um i personally don't like to use my fingers unless i have to just because i feel like um it leaves a lot of room for you to get like breakouts and bacteria spreading so that's just my personal preference um, and next we're going to go ahead and color correct. I'm using the Visanti VO2. Just a dot here and a dot there. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. Now we're going to go in with the actual product. Um, here is what it looks like as you guys have, as you guys have seen. 
um, earlier and I did haul this in my last makeup haul. So we're gonna go ahead and just put this one here, this one here. Oh, okay. Um, to be honest, there's no proper way to do this. I like, I do either way like this, like that, but I don't, like I said, I don't like to, I like to minimize the use of my fingers as much as I possibly can. And then I'm going to use the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Now, I'm not cheating because I do this with every, like, foundation, every, like, base product I use. So I'm not just doing this typically for this product. I do this for every single foundation I've been using lately, so. I've had so many events the past few days, you guys. My skin got, like, really dry because I just kept wearing makeup. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and blend this all out with the Real Techniques 200 brush. This is the Expert Face Brush. So we're going to go ahead and buff this in. I am trying to pat it in as opposed to, um, like, swiping it. Sometimes it's hard not to swipe, though. So I feel like this shade selection of this was really good. Like, I think this is a good match for my skin at the moment. Um, I didn't notice anything in terms of oxidizing, but... Um, that is something I can like definitely watch out for today. Um, this does have SPF, so I'm not sure if it would have a flashback and photography, but um, that is also something I'm not tested. So I have this first layer blended, Oops. and I wanted to again restrict myself from using a beauty blender, which is you guys know I use to blend out everything, but I feel like sponges tend to pick up a lot of product. And when it comes to something that offers such less coverage, I feel like that's a really unfair test. So I feel like this just applies really good with the brush. The nice thing about like blending tinted moisturizers or like BB creams with a brush is that because um, it's not technically a foundation, it doesn't leave as many streakiness. Like the reason why I prefer using like sponges is because I feel like brushes leave streaks, but this doesn't really look like that. So yeah, so that is one layer. Um, the coverage is like light. I can see my skin through, but I like the sheen and the hydration it's offered. My skin looks really healthy. And something I noticed while using this, you guys, is that I don't typically need a powder to set this. Um, I feel like with tinted moisturizers and BB creams, except one that I've used, I feel like they all tend to like set on their own. I don't know if it's just my skin or if that's just something the formulations all have in common, but... Um, I feel like I didn't use powder when I first used this and I didn't feel like I needed it. I feel like it's set on this on its own and this is typically something that is like, um, it even says in the title is like, it's a glow and it, it's called like the halo effect and like it's supposed to be super glowy. I still feel like it's still set okay and I didn't feel particularly oily, but the weather, the weather like has started heating up so I'm not sure if powder is something I'll need now, but that is something we can like you know keep in mind for the rest of the day if it's something i need then i will go ahead and touch up powder but we will do like little updates of it and i'll let you guys know so that is the first layer i'm gonna go ahead and do a zoom in for you guys like we always do okay this is me zoomed in you guys can see the sheen hopefully you can see the coverage of like what i meant by i can still see my skin through So that is what it looks like. I do have lighting on right now, but um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that as well. So I'm just gonna try and get closer. So that is what it looks like. So yeah, definitely very like light coverage, but I feel like it makes your skin look so healthy, like a nice little filter. Um, I would probably suggest that if you're someone who is oily, um, to definitely set this down, but I typically feel like I'm fine without setting it for now. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I will put like very sped through um, clips of this because I don't want this to be like a makeup tutorial or anything. And yeah, just because. So you guys have been doing something different for my brows, which I thought I would tell you. I've been doing the whole soap brow thing. And I know this is probably weird to see because I feel like people that do this is like meant to make their eyebrows look more like um fluffy and bigger and mine are already as you guys can tell pretty big 
So that's what it looks like with the soap. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference. But I personally have been liking this because I feel like it's so good with holding my brows in place. Now because my brows aren't done yet, I feel like because they're longer, they tend to um, fall throughout the day. And I just like how this holds on to them. And I feel like ever since I've been implementing the soap brows, I've uh, um, had to use less brow product. I feel like it does something for my brows. Like I feel like I don't need it to be as filled in. And in turn, it makes it look like my brows aren't as bushy as they really are. So that's been nice. Thought I would let you guys know about that. I've been using way less than I used to. So I really like that. And this is almost finished. Ooh. So I've been spraying some like old face spray on um, some soap. And I read that pear soap is probably the best thing to use because it's clear. And I feel like it's been doing really good. Pear soap is super cheap. I think I got like a pack of three for less than five bucks. So yeah, check it out if you're interested. So they probably don't look even, but they're not even even before I do any of this. So yeah, unfortunately for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put on concealer. I'm using the Anastasia. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer and this is in the shade 5. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Now the thing that I feel like like makes me stray away from tinted moisturizers and stuff from day to day is because I always have full coverage concealer on or i like to have full coverage concealer and i feel like if your face is like light coverage and then your under eyes are like full coverage i don't know if that looks strange or if it's just me but yeah that's mostly why i feel like day to day i don't implement it but i i feel like i should because every single time i use one of my tinted moisturizers i'm like oh this looks so nice and it feels so nice like it's not heavy but i don't know why i'm not using it so yeah I was able to use a like tinted moisturizer yesterday, another one, and I forgot how much I loved it. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and implement that day to day because I feel like it's just better for my skin. And with the summer months, I don't want like heavy foundation on me. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blend my concealer. I use a little bit of the shade four. I was practicing eyeliner today and like I couldn't get it to work. I bought like that L'Oreal flash eyeliner because it came with a stencil and I thought like it would be super easy to um, put on like eyeliner and no. And then I tried using those stencils that I bought from Amazon and that made it more difficult too. Like they just didn't look like wings. So I wasn't into that and then I eventually gave up after like 10 tries and like a bunch of makeup wipes. So yeah, I gave up and I was like, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I feel like I still have remnants of the eyeliner on um, my upper lash line. So if you can see it peeking through, that is why. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this. I'm using the Huda Beauty um, loose setting powder and pound cake. I totally forgot because I have been using powder blush lately. I know who am I. I totally forgot that you have to put on cream blush before... You set your face or set your under eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and blend my She Glam um, Liquid Blush in Hush Hush. So the reason why I've been using like powder blush lately is because um, I had a few like parties like weddings and like special occasions. And for like typically long wear or long lasting makeup, I feel like powder products just last much longer than creams do. Even though I feel like I prefer cream and liquid products they just don't last the amount of time and of course my dry skin likes dewy products more but yeah just in terms of longevity and um staying power i just feel like powder just does way better so i actually want to do a video on like special occasion makeup or like how to make your makeup stay on like was I, I don't know how I'm trying to word this, but I feel like I could definitely do better. Like long lasting makeup, bulletproof makeup, like, I don't know, like something that's going to be like last you all night. I don't know why I can't make the sentence for it. I wrote it on my like little notepad of video ideas. I've been having a kick of creativity and there's so many videos I want to film. So keep an eye out for those. So now we can go ahead and set 
gonna go ahead and set again. I'm using the Huda Beauty Pound Cake Loose Setting Powder. The reason I'm including these parts in the video is just so I, you guys can see how everything applies with the tinted moisturizer. Like, there will be no cheating here, and I am not going to sit and tell you that it's going to do something it's not. Like, if this doesn't work with these products, I want it to be evident on camera. Because the stuff is not cheap, and like, even if it was like $10, I would just want to make sure that you guys have an honest review, you know? So again, I am not going to set my face. I know I might look really glowy and like, not even glowy, like oily, like you can see reflection on my five head. But um, I just feel like throughout the day, I noticed this does set on its own. So I just want to keep it unset because I feel like if I powder it, I'm just going to look dry and I'm already feeling a little dry with all the makeup I've been using. So yeah, we're going to keep it like this. <laughs> okay, I'm using Revlon Skin Lights in Daybreak Glimmer and we are just highlighting. Okay, I'm just gonna like fast forward through the rest of these so that you guys aren't sitting here for like 10 hours again or like usual. <laughs> I got this lash brush off Amazon and I've been loving it. I feel like it's taking my mascara to a whole another experience for me. I love it. I need to be better about using my lash serum because my lashes are so short and like no bueno for it. No bueno for Zainab. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a lip liner and we're gonna work on the lips and we'll be done for the makeup application portion of this video. I'm using MAC Whirl. Now, um, you guys are gonna be confused when you see what lip color I'm using, but you can use any lip liner um, because it's gonna go under your lipstick. I just like using it so I have like a map of where to apply the lipstick. Sorry, sometimes I have to get really close to the mirror to do this. Okay, I am going to use the Fenty Beauty um, Zesty Bestie Lip Stain. I know this is a crazy color, but remember that it is going to end up staining. My camera says that it's overheating and I hope that does not affect any of the lighting. Let's hope not. So that is the makeup completed. I just looked at this makeup up close and I am very happy with my decision of not setting this because I feel like it's starting to set on its own and so far I am really liking the makeup. I love how light skin, like lightweight everything feels. I feel like I have nothing on so um, that's really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera off its little um, what is this called? A tripod? Yeah, a tripod. And get in front of a natural lighting just to show you guys how everything is looking. Okay, you guys, I am only in front of my window, so this is only natural lighting. Um, I just realized I have exposed myself by showing you my background. So um, if you see that or if you see any messiness, uh, please ignore. Um, this is just how my room looks when I'm filming because I have to make use of the space I have. Anyways, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how everything's looking in front of natural sunlight as opposed to like artificial lighting. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little zoom as always and show you guys up close. Okay, so this is me zoomed in. You can see like the shadows under my eyes, but that is not the tinted moisturizer. That is just my body's anatomy. This is just how everything is looking. And this is how it has melted with all the products. Now, keep in mind, natural sunlight is like public enemy number one. So while zooming you guys in, if you notice something's not blended, I didn't notice because I don't notice until I'm outside. 
in front of natural lighting so yeah I might have just exposed myself but anyways um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. I have to say, I really do enjoy this product. It might be my top two favorites, like one of my favorites from all the tinted moisturizers I own. And I feel like it's definitely something really nice to have during the summer, something nice to use during the summer, especially if you're dry. Um, I think someone with normal skin would really enjoy this as well. And like I said, I feel like this can be catered to other skin types as long as you use other methods of setting. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it this way. I might just apply a setting spray on top. The setting spray I might use is the Milani Make It Last and this is just a 16 hour wear. I have a little like small size of it because it's the only thing I can find so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and use this and yeah I I feel like this has a really good staying powder and I feel like in addition to primers and like everything else especially if you use powder I feel like this will probably stay on pretty well into the day so um in terms of staying powder I have to say that it does stay on. Um I didn't notice any lifting but again, I will like mention any new things I have noticed in the description box um, down below so you can go ahead and look at that. Um, if there's anything new I noticed that I did not notice upon trying it the first time, I will let you guys know down below. And so I'll be listing a link below where you can get this product from Sephora if you're interested. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this product. If you do, let me know. If you've used it, let me know. If you don't like it, even let me know. I would like to know. So yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.